Well, welcome to our uh, program this week, our broadcast of this uh, wonderful day in the Lord. We're, we're excited about going through some of the Psalms, and I'm going to go through uh, Psalm uh, 94 uh, this morning, looking at one of the Psalms of Lament. I've been reading a very good book on uh, Psalms of, of Lament. About one-third of the Psalms uh, are written in that key, and that's the idea of, of that uh, somebody has come to the Lord with great problems, deep sadness or distress or sorrow. And uh, a lot of the Psalms, like I said, about a third of the Psalms have at least some element of that type of thing that some have called lament uh, in them. And what's good about that is these Psalms are able to uh, instruct us how it is to go to the Lord at times of distress, times when that are not going well for us, times when we're hurting for various reasons. And these Psalms lay down a pattern a paradigm for us on how to approach God during those difficult times. And so uh, there, there's a lot of them in here, and I'm going to look at Psalm 94 as an example. In this book that I'm reading uh, concerning uh, lament, uh, the, the author outlines four different features of that type of prayer, that type of psalm, and how we go to the Lord uh, during those times. And the first feature is to turn to the Lord. Verse 1, it says, O Lord, God of vengeance, God of vengeance, shine forth, rise up, O judge of the earth, render recompense to the proud. So he, he comes, first of all, to the Lord. He, he is struggling. The, the idea of vengeance is justice. So some, in some way, somehow, he is being mistreated by people, and he's calling out, he's turning to the Lord with his, uh, with his concern, and calling for the Lord to, to bring about justice or vengeance. Deal with this, Lord. So he turns to the right source. He does not take his own vengeance, which Scripture tells us never to do in, in Romans chapter 12. Don't take your own revenge or vengeance, saith the Lord. And so he isn't doing that, but he turns to the Lord and, and, uh, turn and ask him to deal with that. And that brings us to the second aspect of lament psalms, and that is complaint. He complains, or, and he complains in the right way, humbly, graciously, uh, but he complains. He, he lays out, in, in other words, before the Lord, honestly, his great concerns. So we see that in verse 3, and he says, how long? Many of the lament psalms ask that question. How long, O Lord, will you allow such and such to happen? And that happens here. How long shall the wicked, O Lord, how long shall the wicked exalt? They pour forth words, they speak arrogantly. All who do wickedness vaunt themselves. They crush your people, O Lord, and they afflict your heritage. They slay the widow and the stranger and murder the orphans. They have said, the Lord does not see, nor does the God of Jacob pay heed. And so he comes to the Lord and he complains. He lays out his concern, which is that he sees a people that are unjust and unfair, and they're doing wicked and awful things. The word exalt in verse 3 could be translated celebrate. They're celebrating their sin. And that's what he says the wicked are doing. And we see some, some pretty ugly things here. Uh, they're crushing, it says, the uh, God's people. They're slaying widows and orphans. Uh, and then they're saying in verse 7, the Lord doesn't even see this stuff. The Lord doesn't see, that is, the Lord doesn't care uh, he's letting us get by with literal murder here, and he doesn't really care. He doesn't pay attention. And so that is the complaint that the uh, psalmist is bringing before the Lord. He turns to the Lord, but then he tells the Lord what he is concerned about, his complaint. Lord, why are you allowing this? How long will you allow this to go on? And then third, the third element is he asks the Lord for something. We'll drop down to verse 12. Blessed, blessed is the man whom you chasten, O Lord, and whom you teach out of your law, that you may grant relief from the, the days of adversity until a pit is dug for the wicked. And so he now asks the Lord to do something. He, he, he is saying to the Lord, you chasten, uh, you bring about justice, and you teach those, and you grant them relief. And I'm asking, Lord, for you to do that in the in the uh, arena of these wicked people who have dug a pit for themselves but haven't fallen in yet. And so what he's saying is, Lord, teach us. 
train us, chasten us. Uh, that's the word training. That's what that means. Train us, chastening. And ultimately, Lord, bring about with, for these people the consequences of their own sins. And so that is the direction he's gone here. He's asking the Lord to take those actions. Now, there's one more element to lament, and we're going to look at that tomorrow. So I hope you can join us for part two in this song.